Hello everyone, I'm Anne from Anne Makes and welcome into my studio. Thank you so much for stopping by and please if you would like not to miss any of my how-to's, DIY videos, my craft shopping hauls, uh, please hit the subscribe button below. Don't forget to click on the bell that way you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. Today I have a really easy quick and fun craft project to share with you. This would be a great piece of home decor. You can use this anywhere in your home. You can also use this as a storage thing. <laughs> so here it is. Here is my little planter with a little black cat with the little paw prints. Now, this was so easy to make. All I used to make this was a simple, very inexpensive planter from the dollar store and a Pibio porcelain paint pen. I've made a video to show you how exactly to create this design. If you'd like to see that, please stay tuned. It's coming right up. To make to make any project using the Pibio Porcelain 150 paint pens, uh, you need to shake the paint, paint pen and prime it before you begin. So Let's just see how I went from having a plain white flower pot cover here. It's called a planter, or in French it's also called a jardinière, uh, that I got at Dollar Tree. So how I got one of these to become one of these. And I, want to, I just want to show you how easy it is and uh, that you can do this too. So. My tip first is to get a towel, not only to make sure there's nothing on the planter itself, like no, no greasy residue or dirt, but also as a way to cradle your planter so it doesn't roll around on you. It just kind of stays in place so you'll be ready to, to work with it. Now, I'm going to prime the marker here, the paint marker, by shaking it. And I've already shaken it uh, a lot already, but just for the sake of the video, I'm just going to shake it a little bit. And then the next thing uh, I do is press the tip. To get to activate the flow of the ink. I've already used this marker so it the flow has been already activated but again for the sake of the video I'm just gonna do a demonstration. Um, this is just a piece of uh, cardboard from the recycling bin <laughs> so, that I used for that. So to make my little cat here I did freehand this little cat. Uh, of course, if you have a stencil that adheres very well to this, you might want to use a stencil. Uh, if you feel comfortable freehanding it, go right ahead. And don't worry, the thing is, with this paint and with the help of some trusty uh, wipes, like baby wipes, if you don't like what you're doing, you can wipe off immediately. If you, if you work fast, you can wipe it off immediately and just start over. So I'll show you like right now, like let's say I just, oh, I don't want that mark to be there permanently, but I just made the mark and I have a wipe handy and I can just take it off like that. Easy peasy. And then dry off with my towel. So you do have a lot of time actually to work with the marker 
so you don't have to worry about making a permanent permanent mistake so to make the little cat I did I did practice a lot on a piece of paper first and I have to tell you that this cat uh, <laughs> uh, it's not the best cat I could have drawn it is a little challenging to draw with porcelain pen paint on a round surface that is very by the way this is a very glossy surface so it's a little tricky uh, but with some practice you get the hang of it so I did draw a cat I started with the tail and this one is not turning out to be as nice as my first one of course let's press the pen some more so I'm just doing the little cat I'm trying to do a cat <laughs> and there's a little head okay um, okay and the body and legs <laughs> my cat is gonna be a uh, disproportioned I think but you know this is just like a cartoon type of cat here please do not judge my my drawing skills <laughs> guys you see so yeah I'm, I'm doing a bad job here of making a cat on on this but I just want to show you how easy it is to use the uh, the paint pen and see, it'll put a little other leg behind him there or her. We'll just say it's a pregnant cat or it's a very fat cat. And there's the little ears. And we'll put the other ear there. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, this is not my best artwork ever, but I'm just doing this for the purpose of demonstration. So there's my cat. <laughs> Now, to make the little paw prints, um, what I did is I took a piece of, you could use a plate, you could use whatever. I'm just using some packaging that I can just throw away after. And I'm priming some more paint from my pen, but really just so I can have a little bit of paint in here. And what I do then is take the pen and I make like a dot and that's gonna be his little paw or her little paw and I'll make another one here and I just make little drops little paw prints like that so this is what I've done and now to make the like the little toe marks I take handy dandy toothpick that I break the point do I break the point off I do break the point off because I want it to to look more like a little round toe than a little scratch so I just kind of flatten the end of the toothpick so it's not as pointy point it's not pointy pointy it's more like flat <laughs> it's hard to show and then I dip it into that little puddle of paint that I made on my temporary palette. Go back to my planter and make little toes. And I don't know if you've ever seen cat paw prints in the sand or snow. They're not always even, right? Because they're real. So if you're worried about making kitty's paws look deformed, it, does, it doesn't matter because in nature they wouldn't be perfect. Now see here I made a little mistake. So that's going to be a little challenging to, uh, to go and fix. I'm going to try taking the wipe here, see if I can get that. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to. It's it's too tiny and too tight a space. I'm going to have to just remove the whole thing, maybe. Oh, there we go. That's not too bad. And then I can make 
fix the little toe here. There. Okay, that works. That one. And that's it. So that's my trusty tool. Um, so all I needed to make these little paw prints and the little cat were, and I have difficulty talking and painting at the same time. <laughs> I'm making lots of mistakes. Um, all I needed was the porcelain 150 paint pen. This one is uh, a black and Antichrite by PBO and a toothpick. Now I'm just going to show you that the time that we've spent working on this, I can just erase everything and start over if I want. So now I'll just take everything off. It has started to dry, but we still the the paint is still wet so technically we can st we have we still have a window to remove everything so that's what i'm doing here i'm just going to remove everything <laughs> so with a little bit of rubbing you can get everything off before it has time to set permanently and if you want to make your project washable, bake the project here, the painted uh, planter, in the oven. The instructions are written on the side here of the pan. It says either to wait, uh, allow to dry for 72 hours or dry, allowed to dry 24 hours, which is what I did, and then bake in an oven for 35 minutes at 300 degrees Fahrenheit or 150 degrees Celsius. And again, this is the PBO Porcelain 150, 1 1.2 millimeter, anthracite black, and a dollar store planter, a toothpick, some wipes, and that's all you need. So thanks to Pibio for providing me with uh, the paint products to make this. I hope you enjoyed this DIY and that you will look into uh, trying out painting on ceramics, porcelain, glass, hard surfaces, any type of hard surfaces with all the paints from Epibiode, the porcelain line of paints. This one is the Porcelain 150. Uh, Pibiode makes wonderful products and this is just one of the many beautiful products that they make uh, for us creatives. So thank you so very much for watching. Please give this a thumbs up, please like, please comment and share. Uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, stay crafty. Bye. Bye.